Inflation has continued to become a growing concern, and so many of you may be considering what your financial options are right now. Obviously, if paper money is worth less, the big question is how do you protect your hard-earned savings? What are the options that you may want to consider as investing in physical gold and silver? And the people to talk to are the ones at Birch Gold Group. They are experts in precious metals. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, thousands of satisfied customers. You name it, they know what they're talking about. So how do you get more information? You can get a free information kit by simply doing this. Text America to this number, 989898. Again, text America to 9898 and learn how gold and silver could protect your savings. And welcome back to News On. Joining us now to talk more about your money is CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Good to see you as always. So currently, uh, the White House says it expects inflation to rise and new data, but says measures will likely normalize later this year. We keep hearing this, that it's just temporary, but uh, many economists are saying they see otherwise. What do you find to be true? This is, we're looking at video right there on our screens showing bare shelves, so much so that it's actually trending, hashtag bare shelves Biden on Twitter. I saw that, I saw that yesterday. There's definitely a problem right now with supply chain issue, and this has been ongoing, not just in 2022, this has been going on for months in 2021. Several months ago before the holidays, the administration was saying, order all of your gifts early, which I think a lot of people did. So the fact is, this is not temporary already, in my opinion. Do I think that this is going to end in six months or nine months? Not if things stay the same in reference to the employment situation. So right now we have a problem where we have a lot of people that are still out of work. And when you look at the number of jobs that are available and you look at the unemployment rate, which is hovering around 4.2%, something doesn't really add up. You have 12 million jobs available at, at an unemployment rate of 4.2%. That unemployment rate should be higher when you look at the number of jobs available. So something just doesn't add up with these numbers, in my opinion, each time that they come out. We have a problem right now where you don't have enough people working to deliver the supplies, which would be the truck drivers. Then you have a problem where you don't have certain companies and manufacturers. They can't make things that people want, or they can't get them. They can't import them, or they don't have the things that they need to make to get the products. Like say, example, you want to order furniture. Yeah. You might need get furniture for nine months or 10 months if you order it. Or if you even want to have work done in your home, sometimes it takes to buy copper, wood. All of these things are taking right. so much more to get. Well, so much more to get and they've actually tripled in prices. But in the time that we have remaining, I do want to go back to you saying that the numbers just don't add up, that unemployment numbers should be higher, right? A number of employers have been talking about having to raise wages in order to entice more workers. Obviously, there's been talk that that could be passed on to consumers. So do those numbers signal to you that uh, people aren't just officially filing for unemployment? Or why do you think those numbers aren't adding up? The numbers don't add up because a lot of people aren't working. And you can tell that when you go in the store as a consumer or try to call on the phone. The other day yeah. in New York City, the flagship store in Bloomingdale's on 59th Street was closed until 12 o'clock noon. They didn't have it on their website. People were waiting outside. I tried to go to the store. I said, wait a minute, what's going on? They told everybody I had a sign and said they didn't, have, they didn't have inventory. When I went in the store, when they finally opened at noon, they had plenty of stuff to sell. They did not have workers they did not have the staff. Yeah. Why? Some people have COVID and also the vaccine mandates are creating a problem with people not coming in. So they may not be reporting that they're out of work yet, but I think this is all going to come to a head soon. That's why you've seen the market sell off a lot since the beginning of January this year. The market has had a big sell off since the first day of the year last Monday. We're going to continue, obviously, to follow this story because it's not going away anytime soon, unfortunately. But we do appreciate your time, Melissa Armo. Again, CEO of Stock Swoosh, as always, thank you for your time. Thank you. Speaking of stocks, uh, one Georgia lawmaker now also wanting to put a ban that would no longer allow members of Congress or their spouses to trade stocks. Find out why and the details coming up next.